Hey guys, Queen of Hearts here. Welcome back to another video. If you are new, welcome. Make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch another vlog on my channel. So, I feel like I haven't vlogged in a while. Today is Saturday. It is currently 4.01. Um, I just left the gym. I'm currently on the south end of Charlotte. I was on this end earlier today and I rode past this really cute nail salon and they have a special. So I called, asked what the special was. So I'm gonna try them out for the first time today. It's called Ultra, Ultra Nail Boutique. I'll show you guys actually. Ultra Nail Boutique and um, it's on the south end. I haven't eaten since breakfast, so there's a kava right next door. So I'm gonna, I guess I'll show y'all that too. <laughs> there's kava. So, um, yeah, I just got here. Um, about to go in kava, get something to eat, and then I'll go next door and get my nails and toes done. Y'all, I'm looking so, <sighs> this is beyond me. But yeah, I got my nails done what <laughs> i got my hair done on thursday night so this is my first time having um blondish braids i like it it's different i gotta get used to it because i've never i've never done blonde braids before i've done blonde straight hair but not blonde braids so this is gonna take some getting used to but it's cool, but let me stop rambling because I'm hungry and I have an hour before my appointment. So, yeah, let's go to Kava. All right, y'all, so here's what I got. I got the hot harissa chicken, grilled chicken, pita crisp, feta cheese, tomatoes, pickled onions. Um, what else is in here? Cucumbers. It comes with a pita, pita bread. I got their cucumber. What is it? I got their cucumber and I can't remember something cucumber something and a strawberry citrus I mixed that and yeah it's really good Okay, y'all, so I am finally headed home. It's like 8.30. I've been out all day. I think I left my house at like, how much did it hurt? 11 something? But yeah, um. Okay. Child, I got to drive first, honey. I can't talk to y'all. My Rick, don't wanna Rick, don't wanna do that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm um headed home. I'm leaving the liquor store. I went to one liquor store and they literally did not have anything. And I should have known to go earlier because of the holiday weekend, but yeah. Yeah, so I, went, I had to go to a second liquor store and they still didn't have what I needed. So I just ended up getting some crown vanilla. Mm, I like crown vanilla though. Other people, people that drink with me, I have to have something sweet. The strong, first of all, liquor is completely nasty anyway, so if it does not taste good, I don't want none of that boo-boo. 
I don't want none, boo boo. I should have turned left. <clears throat> but anyways, I'm going the wrong way, y'all. So, yeah, what's going on tomorrow? Oh, let me tell you guys. Um, yeah, Megan and I are going to the Omni Hotel tomorrow evening. They have a rooftop pool. And hopefully, we'll get to see some fireworks from the rooftop. Um, and they also have like a, a bar there. So, it should be fun. Um, I'm excited to spend time with Megan. And... You know, just have some girl time. But anyways, I'm about to go home, shower, probably make me a fruit bowl. I went to Harris Teeter and picked up some raspberries, strawberries, and uh oh, that's what I meant to get. I forgot to get bananas. I, shoot, I forgot to get bananas. But I'll get those. Too. So my camera cut off, but um, yeah, I'm going home to shower and relax and i will get up with y'all probably tomorrow before or after church so see y'all hey guys so yeah i ain't checking with y'all um after church today but i'm home it's like it's five o'clock um i'm about to make a peach sangria so that's why i wanted to come on here and tell you guys that that's what you guys will be seeing in the next few um few clips but yeah we're gonna freestyle it i looked up a recipe i didn't get everything that the recipe called for um but i'm pretty sure it'll still be good so i'm gonna make make a white peach sangria and i also have some eggs boiling um to make deviled eggs my mom decided to cook out today so we're gonna just cook out for this fourth of july and I know I told you guys yesterday that I was supposed to be going to a rooftop um, pool, Uptown Charlotte, but they sold out of tickets. So, and I should have known because it's a holiday weekend, but whatever. So we're just about to prepare um, for this cookout and yeah, I'll see you guys soon. because I know I didn't tell you I was gonna put that in there but I added um, green apple and raspberries to the sangria and now my mom is putting the turkey burgers on the grill what's in there cabbage yeah. we have the beef winnies I think I'm addicted to that beefy onion Cause the way grandma did that roast like she did. Baked beans, 
We got the devil eggs. Me and my mama they already been on the sangria. We have turkey burgers. We like ours a little charred, so. Yeah, that's that. We have cabbage that was on the grill, and we also have cabbage some. Cabbage I use a brown sugar. Oh, you just gonna tell them the recipe? Oh. Cabbage and onions. And corn. So we're about to eat. The cookout was a success. It's time to clean up. They shoot. They what? Shoot. <laughs> they shoot. <laughs> yeah, so it's time to clean up. And I'm not cleaning up, so it's my mama. <laughs> it's not to my mama and sister, because I've been in the kitchen, okay? Shoot. Don't play with me. But anyways, this sangria was, is very good. I added some fruit, excuse me. Added some apples and raspberries. Mainly because of color. But this is good. Portia, you should get some. You don't wanna? Why? I don't drink alcohol. Girl, so why you got them two? Why you got them two mini bottles in your window seal? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I got one over there too. Huh? I got one over there too. Oh, let me tell y'all. How about I gotta go back to the nail salon tomorrow? My paint is chipping off of my nails. Off of two of my nails, so I'm gonna go back to the nail salon tomorrow and get them fixed. Five dollar. Ain't nobody paying nothing. I just five dollar. You want now? Five dollar. I'm not paying for nothing. Go to Ralph. Five dollar. To Ralph. Yeah. And it better be free. Cause how? My 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 polish ain't never chipped like this. <laughs> we call police, use immunopay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, y'all, it's time to clean up. Oh, oh, my down, down. 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 here I am headed out the door I have all my workout clothes because I do at some point today plan on going to the gym y'all hey it's Monday it's 5 34 I am headed back to the nail salon like I showed you guys my my fingernail polish uh, was chipping on three of my nails so I called them this morning I was like you know I spent over a hundred dollars with y'all uh, Saturday and my polish started to chip the next day and then they were closed yesterday so i couldn't come so anyways yeah i'm headed there i just told them i wanted to get them all repainted so i'm thinking of a color now i slick want to do blue but you know i love my nude like my neutral tones i love that i don't know okay Hopefully you guys can hear me because there's some wind in the background and I know that I said I was closing out the vlog but I just had to come in here and share with you guys the experience I had at Ultra Nail Boutique down, no, South End Charlotte. So I was here Saturday and I got a fill-in and I had
had a pedicure in which that service I paid over a hundred dollars for their new nail boutique here in Charlotte on the south end I think they have two other locations but I came to the south end location so um, I'm tired it's hot fed up so anyways I came here today because the very next day Sunday my nails started uh, to chip and I couldn't come yesterday because they were closed so I called this morning I asked the receptionist well I actually told her you know I was there Saturday um, three of my nails three out of ten of my nails chipped and um, I need to come in to have them repainted so she was like okay sure she said um, hold on yeah, I'm trying to make sure I don't get hit let me stay on this side so she was like okay cool you can come in so I made an appointment for 545 today when I got off work so I came I got my oh before let's back that up because I asked her if there would be any charge I asked her if there would be any charge for me to come in and get this service being that it was not of good quality obviously I expected for this service to be free so I asked her, Miss Bree, on the phone, will there be any charge to me for this repaint? She said, no ma'am, we'll take care of you. So I came in early for my 545 appointment and I get all my nails repainted. They're pink. Hold on y'all, it's getting dark. I parked in this parking garage. <sighs> Give me a sec. Okay, sorry y'all. So in the car so anyways um yeah so i had already cleared with the receptionist that there would not be any charge for this service got my nails repainted this pink color it's a little different than the color that i have it's a really pretty pink actually um so of course you know it's normal for them to give you a check even if it says zero dollar balance due you know so I get the check and I open it and it says thirty dollars. Who, who about to, who about to pay thirty dollars for your mistake? Not Kashayla. So I walk up to the um, receptionist area and I was like, I'll call this morning around. And I gave her the time. I called around ten twenty something this morning. And I spoke with the receptionist and it was my fault that I didn't get her name. But she was able to tell me who was on receptionist duty this morning. So, um, what happened? Oh, she said her name and I was like, well, I talked to her. Um, I let her know that I spent, you know, this amount of money on whatever this Saturday. My nail check the next day. Couldn't come Monday because you guys were closed. So, she said that this service would be free. So she was like, um, you may have, well, she said there was a miscommunication. I'm sorry about that. She was very nice. I'm sorry about that, but the service is $30. Um, if you had just got the three nails repainted, um, it would have been free, but because you got a different color and um, all 10 fingers repainted, we have to charge you full price $30. So I'm like, I could not find the color that I came and got on Saturday. And when I talked to Bree, she asked me if I wanted another, no, she asked me um, if I wanted all 10 fingers painted. And I told her yes. And she still said that the service was gonna be free. So, me and the girl going back and forth. I'm being as nice as I possibly can because I work in customer service and I just don't feel like people should have an attitude if they ain't gotta, if, if, you know, you, we reciprocate energy. If I'm not coming at you with no harsh language, no profanity, I'm being as nice as I possibly can regarding this mix up. <coughs> I feel like you should give me the same energy. Cause first of all, I ain't got time. I gotta go home and edit this vlog. Like we got stuff to do. <sighs> Y'all hold on. I gotta put something on my lips. Cause this ain't me. So anyway. All right. So anyways, I feel like that's so light. 
whatever so um yeah i'm telling her what was told to me and she's coming back at me with i understand that was told to you but basically we're not about to do anything she i said call your manager i don't know if you need to rerun this conversation back that i had with this girl at 10 20 a.m this morning whatever her name is if you got to take it out her paycheck i don't know what you got to do but i'm not paying for this service i was literally just here and i did not only get one service i got two services from you guys you guys are new you should be wanting to put your best foot forward and provide excellent customer service. And I don't feel like you're doing that right now. So I said, you can call your manager, you can do whatever you need to do, but I'm not paying for this service. She was like, I understand that, but, and, and still going back and forth with me. So I'm like, call your manager. Either you can call him or give me his number and I will call him. So she gave me um, his number she um she did try calling him a few times and he kept forwarding her call so i called from my number twice and um i said mr larry i am at your establishment i am not appreciating the service that i'm getting here i was literally just here on saturday my nails chipped the next day i couldn't come monday because your facility was closed i would appreciate it if you would cover this charge because I am not paying $30 for something I had nothing to do with. Only number one, my nails were effed up the very next day. Secondly, I was told that this service would be free. So I would appreciate it. I said, I'm not coming at you rude. I feel like I'm being very respectful. And he was like, yes, yes, you are. Um, so I would appreciate it if you would cover this, um, this service. So I know that was pretty long and probably longer than what it had to be but I just had to come on here and tell you guys because at the end of the day he covered the service I didn't have to pay for anything but I was gonna light their ass up do not play with me especially in the customer service realm do not play with me do not so Mr. Larry and Miss Receptionist got it together. They're gonna have a meeting with, that's what they tell me. They're gonna have a meeting with the person that did my nails and the receptionist, um, I guess to let them know about today's events. And yeah, I will not be returning back to Ultra Nail Boutique in Charlotte, North Carolina on the South End. Um, although, it turned out in my favor like I told the lady a billion times I'm not paying for this anyway so you got to do you gonna have to do what you got to do because I'm not paying for this although I told her that and they were semi nice about the situation I feel like and I don't like saying this because the customer is not always right at the same time but come on I'm giving you two things here nails effed up the next day someone told me that the service was free like you have two things on you right now. Like, do not play with me. I'm not about to, I'm, I don't have time for this. I'm not paying, do what you gotta do. And they did what needed to be done, but I will not be returning there. Um, on top of me having to wait 30, 40 minutes after my scheduled appointment for a nail polish change. They turned out cute though, but <laughs> I'm not going there. And this is too long, I feel like, Ah, <sighs> y'all, but that's all. Now I am closing out this vlog. Ugh. That's all. I'm gone. I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Love y'all. Thanks for listening to me rant, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.